Welcome to Lakeshore RV. I'll be showing you through your cycling today. In your front compartments here, you're gonna have on the left side is a 12 volt battery, hydraulic fluid levels. Um, bottom compartment over here is gonna be your Cummins generator. You're gonna have to start it, you're gonna turn both your breakers on here. Push and hold, stop and prime. That's gonna prime it for three seconds after the light turns on, and then push and hold start for three seconds. If it don't start, repeat process. If you run it out fuel, you'll have to prime it longer, which is push and hold the bottom on the bottom of that switch. Right above it is gonna be the top compartment access door. Where you will access in your faster from the front. Right to the right, you're gonna have a manual switch for the LED lights on the very front cap. Right below it's gonna be the panel you're gonna use 90% of the time for your leveling. To bring power to this panel right now, it does not have power to it, so if you hit a button, nothing's gonna happen. Um, to bring power to it, you're gonna hit up and down at the same time. It's gonna bring a green light. That's gonna show you have power to this panel. Now these up and down is gonna control just the front legs. Auto level, after your truck's pulled out of the way. Uh, hitch height is gonna be that location that you will use, which is gonna be here. When you are going to load up your camper, it's gonna bring up all your rear jacks and bring up the front to where it was to hook onto your truck. After you're hooked to your contr uh, after you're hooked to your truck, you're gonna hit retract all. That's gonna retract all the jacks on your unit. If for some reason this panel is blinking red, you'll have to uh, just go inside on the digital side and the leveling and figure out what's happening. I will show you how to do that when we get inside. On the passenger side here, or driver side, you're gonna have your uh, VIN model tire pressure here. You're gonna have two 30 pound LP tanks, both full. Regulator's gonna be on the on the passenger side there. Here's the side panel to your to the side axis to the pass through. Um, input. You're gonna go bring all your hoses and wires right through the hole here. This is just a drop in plug. You bring your wires and hoses um, up on the very top here. You're gonna see four inlets. These four inlets are gonna be for cable. Um, you're gonna have a bedroom cable, a master or uh, living room cable, outside cable, garage cable, and the very far inlet for fuel or for inlet for water. Tank fill is going to be to fill your tank on your unit. To use the water that is uh, that's in the tank on the unit, you're going to have to go to dry camping. Go, uh, to use just a water hose, the pressure off the water hose, you're going to go over to city fixtures here. To winterize your unit, you're going to point it straight down underneath here. Right below it, you're going to have an outdoor shower. It's going to be cold and hot. Here, this is to be an inlet for satellite. Right to the right, you're gonna have black tank flush. This black tank flush is for the for, for the uh, main bathroom, up in uh, near the master bedroom. You're gonna have your poles right past this door here for the for the front bathroom. These poles, you're gonna want to make sure are open and you're connected to the ground at your sewer pipe outlet. Right, right by that jack before you hook up a water hose to your black tank flush. If that tank is full and the valves are closed and you hook up a hose here, you're gonna have one problem where that, all that's gonna go right into the bathroom. So just make sure you're connected to the ground and your valves are open. Here you're gonna see a lot of these lights throughout your unit. They're gonna be lights that have a button in the dead center you just hit the button and it'll come on. Right below it, you're gonna have the water heater or the water pump switch. The manual side, um, it's a safety switch. Right below it, you're gonna have the outlet here. Furnace exhaust. This gets extremely hot, so make sure when you light your furnace that nothing's leaning up against it. Your poles are here. 
for your front bathroom. Coming to the rear of your camper on the driver's side. Right past the axles, you're gonna have the rear bathroom poles, as well as the rear bathroom black tank flush. And the rear bathroom connection is gonna be here. You're gonna have two inlets for fuel. This inlet for fuel is gonna be for the generator, unleaded fuel only. Same with this inlet's gonna be for, uh, is unleaded fuel only. You do have, that's gonna fill the auxiliary nozzle for uh, golf carts or quads. Here is the pump, the fuel control switch. You have to turn it on digital before you can turn this on. It's gonna be a safety feature on it. So no one could uh, attempt to steal gas from you. You got a 50 amp hookup cord here. Rear back, uh, you got a rear awning as well as the drop down porch. Coming on the passenger side here, you're gonna have this rear door is gonna go into the garage. Um, coming right in between the two doors, you're gonna have outdoor entertainment center. You're gonna have uh, your pull out TV here. You got a switch here that's gonna control the LED lighting. Um, just know this fridge and this TV is not gonna work unless you're hooked to shore power. Um, outdoor sink here hot and cold okay coming up to this slide has speakers these speakers are controlled from the inside radio uh, in the garage I'll show you how to operate that um, you're gonna have this main door this main door is gonna lead you right into your access panel the first thing you want to get to um, here is gonna be your water heater your water heater bypass is going to be right inside the pass-through on the passenger side. Battery disconnect is right above this light here. If you do have a 30 to 50 amp adapter, 30 to 15 amp adapter. And a sewer hose. Other 30 pound LP tank. I uh, got the manual side. <clears throat> So the manual, there's a little lip up here, point it to the rear, you're going to use the driver's side tank, point it to the front, you're going to use this tank right here. It's a little manual lever. Coming on, let's go ahead and go inside your unit. Looking for the main panel, you're just going to walk straight ahead, it'll be right to the right, right in this door here. So, we're going to go ahead and show you your main panel. Any switch in your unit that is not labeled are lights. Um, here's the wind guard system. The wind guard system, if you get the Wi-Fi, uh, it is all pre-wired. So, all you got to do is turn it on. Um, if you end up do getting uh, the Wi-Fi router right below it. You have the one control system. This is gonna be the digital side. You will also you can also get the app for it on your cell phone, so you can control your cell phone um, through your or you control your camper through your cell phone. Here we're gonna go to devices, or we'll go home here. We're gonna go to home. Now that's gonna let me control all the, the bedroom lighting, front cap lighting, garage lighting, living room ceiling. Um, as well as the out, outside lights. Just know there are going to be lights throughout your unit where you are going to have to turn off manually. Any light you turn on manually, you'll have to turn off manually. Um, and then you'll, the easiest way is to turn all the digital side off and then you'll see what lights are still on. I'm going to go ahead and go to the devices here. Devices is going to bring you to awning controls as well as bed, uh, bedroom light, water heater, front cap light, fuel pump. Remember I told you you had to turn on your fuel pump on digital before that will work out there for your auxiliary nozzle. Gas water heater. You can also control your generator leveler. So if that front 
the front pad show is blinking red come in here and go into the leveler main slide rear rear awning water pump you can also see the levels on your camper right below it you're gonna have the slide out control for the main for your master bedroom slide here so this little one's gonna be for the bedroom when you bring it in the bedroom side make sure the bathroom door as well as the slide door are both in the open position well the slide in the open position this door in the closed position this door the bathroom door needs to be closed as well as the door for the slide needs to be open otherwise you could end up crushing one of those doors other switch here is going to control the two big slides in your living room here awning recheck that's going to be manual side for the front awning right outside this door here the awning light for it let's go ahead and start from the master bedroom and work our way back to the garage master bedroom here you got a light switch right here this light switch is going to control the manual side on the bedroom light um as you see like this led light if you turn it off uh turn it off by digital that led light will not turn off so you're gonna have to uh turn that led off by the switch right next to it so you're gonna have a thermostat you're gonna see three of these throughout your unit tap it one time to acknowledge it tap it again to go to fan tap it again to go to ac tap it again to go to heat Dab again to turn it off. Now up and down is going to control the temp in that area. Bathroom is pretty self-explanatory. You can access it through the master bedroom or the hallway door here. Bathroom light switch is going to be right over the toilet. GFI breaker right next to the sink. Going out of the bathroom, down into the living room, right to the left, you're going to have another thermostat. This thermostat's going to control the main living area. Ma main panel is beyond this door, L left of the TV. Coming into the living room, you got your TV here. You got a sound bar. This sound bar does do FM and AM radio as well as Bluetooth. Just know that sound bar is only connected to this. Um, the controller speakers outside is going to be the garage radio. Right below, you're going to have a little cabinet where you'll be able to put DVD players and whatever you want inside these cabinets. Right below, you're going to have a fireplace here. Fireplace, if you lose the remote, which all your remotes are in the drawers, you'll push the start button. Right now, we are not, or the on button, right now we're not hooked to shore power. Uh, we are only running at 12 volt. Um, to turn it on here, the higher low timer color. Coming to the little slide here to the left, you're going to have two light switches. These two light switches are not controlled by the digital side, so you'll have to turn these off manually. Um, the other part to this couch here during transportation, you're going to want to put it in inside the kitchen <clears throat> just so it's not rocking everywhere when you are opened up and camping you could slide that chair up and place in the little hooks here on this slide here this is your big slide you're gonna have again two manual light switches double side fridge uh, you're gonna have it's a propane or shore power shore power R right to the left you're gonna have microwave if your microwave is lit up that's gonna tell you at least have 30 amps um, <clears throat> right below it you're gonna have the the stove top it's gonna be just like an outdoor grill you're just gonna go over the flame here you're gonna push and hold the igniter to the left here you're gonna have an overhead light right above the microwave turn on and off right next to the sink here you're gonna have light switch here that's gonna control the led lights below it 
right at the floor base, you're going to have a carbon monoxide alarm. Here around your sink, you're going to have your keys. The lights underneath the cabinets are all manual lights. You'll have to turn them on and off by the button in the center. To the left, to the right here, you're going to have two light switches. These two light switches are going to control the lights up above. Right below, it's going to be fan controls. For right above your head right there. Going into the garage, you are prepped and ready for a washer dryer, as well as um, the mounted TV would be right in here. You have your rear bathroom, rear bathroom light switch right to the left here. Power cord is going to be in the floor in the, in the garage. Upstairs loft here. Here you got more light switches that are not labeled. So again, these are lights. Right, right to the left, you're going to have your fan 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 switches here you're gonna have a rear awning this is going to be the awning off the back porch awning here is going to be the awning right outside the door bed lift control the bed lift control i'll explain here in a second radio for the outside speakers and garage speakers you're going to have a, a zone a and a zone b on the on the actual on the deck itself when you turn it on So you'll be able to change the volume. You can have one or the other on, one on, one off. It doesn't matter. It's up to your discretion. Bed lift control. To bring down the bed, you're going to have to use the couch. The couch is the bottom one. This is the couch here. It's on the chain system with that switch. So you'll bring down the couch just by pushing down the down down on the button on the switch. Now bring down this couch. Now there are four pins holding up the bed above it. Those that, that bed is not on a chain system. So if you pull those four pins while this couch is down, down, uh, it's gonna fall and hit you in the head. So 